G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're looking at the Liberty Jacket from Helicon Tex. Now this, they say, is rated as an extreme weather jacket. As in temperature, it's not waterproof, but it's not your thin fleece. I think they call it the heavy fleece, because it is really, really thick. But in my last video I wore it on a Bilberman track and I got dropped off in the morning and it was three degrees in the car or this uh, reg it was re registering three degrees in the car and I got out and I walked into the bush and as many of you know it gets colder the further in the bush you go and I was quite surprised it worked it, I didn't have to put any of the outer layer on or anything it kept me warm all the way to the Boar Creek shelter but if anything I had to take it off about three quarters of the way because it got too hot. Now let me show you this. We've got the Velcro or the hook and loop cuffs for adjusting it. It's very, very handy. We've got a pocket here on the left arm. Another one higher up. You've got your morale patch, your hook and loop on either arm. Another pocket here. So there's all your bits for easy access. And what I do like about this is when I'm wearing my backpack, my pockets aren't here where my belt goes across. They're actually high up here. So my hand comes to there and my belt will come across here. So I can still use the pockets. And in each of the pockets, I don't know if you'll be able to see in there, we got one for a pen and another one, as you can see, is big enough for a full size silver compass. Let's put that back. And it's the same on this side. I have a couple of spare batteries for our camera in here. And each has a port coming through from the pocket. So if you've got your phone in them pockets and you want your earphones to come through, they'll come through the port and you can put them in without having them dangling on the outside. All the zips are YKK zippers. So they're really, really good quality. The front one here, we've got a little storm flap on the inside. I think you call it a two-way zipper. You can pull it that way. And if you need to get anything in your pocket off your belt, you can do it from the bottom and get in there. On the back, I've got another pocket which goes all the way through here. Oh, sorry, down here it is, sorry. Which you can get in from this point. That's handy for putting your gloves in, I believe. I wouldn't put anything heavy in there as if you're going to have your backpack on or you're going to sit down you might just end up breaking it or hurting yourself but the actual jacket does come way down past the ass so it's going to be keeping your bum nice and warm and most backpacks sit here so you're still going to be able to get into this lower pocket and use it another thing i like about this one we've got the pit zips and it's not a single zipper it's a double one on it, so you can adjust it to wherever you want or close it up whenever you want, which I like that. Makes it more versatile. What more can I say about it? The colour. Let me show you this. Let's bring my microphone out a little bit more. The colour you can pull up all the way. And at the top of the zip, the little chin guard, so you're not going to be pinching your chin with the zipper. And it's a nice snug fit. And on the back, hopefully you can see, you've got a little adjuster here, so you can tighten it up if you wish. A little cord pull. I 
I brought a uh, sleeping bag out with me the night I went out on the Bilbermann track to just test out. And to be honest, as most people know, the ratings on them are way off, to be honest, especially this one. So I had to put this jacket on. With this jacket on, in my sleeping bag, this kept my top half from here down. I had my beanie on, which kept me lovely, toasty and warm. I even had to put my boots on in the sleeping bag to get another insulation for there, but my feet were still cold and my whole legs were still cold. So insulation wise, it's bloody good. I've got a bit of wind blowing right here on the microphone, but there's nothing coming through the material itself. And if it was coming up underneath, on either side, we've got a couple of cord pulls which we can adjust up and just tighten the bottom of the jacket. So it's going to be nice and wind tight. So the same on this side. And there you go, nice and snug, holding all around. Now, in the pocket, I didn't mention this one here. We've also got a D ring and like a bungee strap. So you can attach your keys to there or something else I was thinking of is even hooking that through it. So at least I can still get it out, use it and drop it if I need be. And then just put it back in my pocket. So that can be used as much as you know for anything you want to. So what else can I say? Not much more. If anybody says, would you recommend it? I'd say yes. Once the temperature hits to me personally, when it gets to around the, I don't know, uh, what is it today? It's about 12 degrees at the moment, 12, 14 degrees, getting up to about 16 on toasty warm. So I reckon if it got up to around the 20s, low 20 centigrades, I'd need to take it off. So as I was walking on the last video, I took it off about three quarters of the way in because I was toasty, especially with the backpack on and walking up and down, incline, declines. So I was working out. So in then situations, mm. I reckon for myself personally, it's going to be about the 20 to 25 degrees centigrade that it's going to be too warm. But anything below that, and I believe it will take you down or it will take me down into the below zeros and then with my top layer which is my uh, wet weather one I think that'll take me a few degrees centigrade lower so for me it was well worth me buying it's not light it's probably dull always maybe a bit more than any normal fleece jacket that you'd get from any of these sports stores but it is a lot warmer and it is very comfortable so I've got a bit of a belly on me and I've still got some room to play with there so once that's gone it might be a bit baggy hopefully but I don't mind either way so yeah I think this one wasn't just because I wanted it it's turned out to be a good investment for the colder weather and it's perfect for layering. Like, so we've got the room inside here. When I went out uh, on the Bilbong track, I had my thermal, then I had my hiking jacket on, and I had this on, and I still had room. And when I got home, I tested it with my uh, down jacket, and my down jacket fitted underneath this comfortably. So I hope it's been inform uh, informational. I've been able to give you some good information about this, and you enjoyed the video. And if you have, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, I thank you very much. And if you've only just subscribed, or if you are a subscriber already and you haven't hit that bell button, click on the bell button so you can be notified of all future videos that are coming up. And also, click the thumbs up. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.